know, one of the most remote areas I've been to, and one of the greatest hunts you can do in the world, is for the Asian Ibex. And my son Mark and I spent eight days hunting Ibex up in the high country. It was interesting because we had an opportunity to hunt Ibex along the Gobi Desert, along those mountain ranges in the low Altai, and we also had the opportunity to hunt Ibex in the high Altai. Both Mark and I were able to collect low Altai Ibex and I was able to collect the high Altai Ibex, uh, which, uh, which gave me a hell of a lot of satisfaction. Uh, in this chapter, I'm sure you'll get a lot out of uh, the, the areas uh, and the people that I hunted with. Uh, not to mention uh, some of the interesting situations I got myself in. I hope you enjoy this chapter on IMAX. This is Altai. We've just landed. It's on Saturday morning. These are the highest mountains in this area. A tiny little bit of uh, snow. Uh, this is very spectacular country. Uh, this range here, I believe, is the one that we're heading towards uh, to hunt. It's very cold outside, perhaps about six or seven degrees, and we're about now at about eight and a half thousand feet. So we're going to go to about um, between 10 and 11,000 feet to hunt. We're blessing the hunt with uh, vodka. This is traditional. Everybody drinks the vodka. This is to a successful Ibex hunt, eh? Yeah, I always smell. Uh, this is one of the guides, he's just set up the spotting scope to look at the mountain and uh, he's just uh, seen uh, a of, up on the mountain. Go by horseback up onto the top and then we glass all the areas into the basins. just got back from a hunt. It's uh, Sunday and um, Mark was first to get an Ibex.
So uh, we're just celebrating, just about to have something to eat. Everybody's very happy. And as you can see, the vodka is out again. Um, congratulations to everybody. Put a lot of hard work into this. And um, Mark stuffed, but very happy. This is a superstitious way of getting good luck. One of the old herdsmen has brought his rocks to throw for us for a day for tomorrow. Mark's going to give him a throw now. One's gone in the beer. <laughs> Now Mark is going to throw the bones. Uh. Into three. Day four, and uh, we finished the hunt and still no ibex. We saw three good ones and we've chased them all over this country. But some of the toughest country I've ever been in just cliffs and uh, just rough as hell. We've just walked out of this big valley and uh, right across the top of those ranges. We walked all across the top of those. So these ones out the back here. These little ones here in front are just the knobs starting off the, the main range. And uh, we walked from one side of this range to the other in one valley, over the top, down through the ranges and out another valley. We've just uh, been picked up by the Jeep and they're having some fermented cow's milk. So, how about this for a sunset over the Mongolian desert? 
Uh, this is my fifth day here with the Ibex. Mark's gone to an elk camp and um, I saw two Ibex today over 40 and uh, the breeze uh, buggered a stalk up on one of on one of the Ibex that would have gone probably 45 snowstorms predicted for today and as you can see these mountains now have quite a bit of snow on them and I say there's a big front where there's snow falling at the moment and this is just above the Altai village um, where we're headed and hopefully uh, we can catch the plane we're about three days uh, before the end of our hunting period where we fly to Beijing and I'm hoping I can get some hunting in at least for tomorrow maybe go out to see Mark out at the elk camp uh, we are back in Altai and uh, contrary to my last message about uh, leaving Altai we have now decided to go to another hunting area where Wayne and Grant have come back with some good trophies and uh, we are staying just for a couple of hours to have lunch and then go into this other area where there is a lot of snow but hopefully there will be also a lot of ibex everybody is anticipating a good hunt so when we leave this girt we will go back into the mountains and try for another two days for some, some good hunting um, well we've just started our ascent uh, up this river I don't know the name of the river but uh, I guess I'll find out later on and um, we are heading up to these mountains uh, it looks more like New Zealand uh, than anything else well this is the last day here we go again we've just spotted three massive ibex on the top of this hill they've just gone into that gully and we are waiting for them to bed down It's about 9.30 in the morning. And we'll look for more Ibex in this country. We also think that the Ibex may go to this mountain. bed down. Well we've hunted hard and we're at the top of the mountain and uh, I'm puffing because we are working very hard and uh, if you want to know what a 43 inch Ibex looks like then this is it this is my prize for seven days of hard work and these people really worked hard for me and this is the first time I hunted with them and this is where I took the shot from from that rock up there and they were laying in this gravel I was about I'm extremely happy so are these people as their faces tell this magnificent country where the ibex live, snow and ice is just magnificent. 
I can't tell you how I feel. So we have to take the Ibex down that valley now because these people want to get back to an election, would you believe? To vote. This man is helping me to get the Ibex and I am absolutely thrilled. This man has got the horses and uh, he's good. So everybody's good. Well, we're just coming down off the mountain. This horse has rolled and thrown its saddle and this horse here has rolled and thrown its saddle with all the meat and uh, God knows how we got them down off the, off the mountain but anyway if we look across here you can see the vultures now they're slowly coming down with other birds and we've only been gone for about 10 minutes they must have been sitting in the rocks watching us. So the carcass is just at the base of that cliff. And they're slowly working their way down towards what is left of the of the carcass, which is not much, I can assure you. These people take just about everything. You can't help but be impressed by this country. Beautiful, clear running streams coming down from the snow. He looks quite mean, but really they're quite gentle. All the people have actually come around to have a look at the Ibex that we got, and they're all going out to vote. So that's it for this hunt and um, we're getting ready to go into the jeep and head off back to Altai where we're catching the plane back to Yulambatar. Hotel, and uh, as you can see, all the trophies are being loaded onto the truck. Some massive um, elk heads. That's Mark and um, my head's being uh, loaded now. 